Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over basic setup and playing position for the sitar. So you'll need a few things to get started, your instrument obviously, and then a little oil can. We use coconut or almond oil to lubricate the fingers of the left hand. You can just get a little cotton swab, cotton ball, and just put a few drops of uh, your chosen oil, and we use that for the left hand fingers. And the third thing you'll need is the Mizrab, the plectrum, which as you can see actually holds on to your fingertip. You don't hold on to it. I'll take it off so you can see the shape a little better. So you can see it's triangular. And these two arms of it uh, squeeze onto your finger. If you find that the Mizrab is loose when you first put it on, you can squeeze it together a little bit to tighten it so it fits a little more snugly. You want it somewhat tight when you first begin playing so that you develop a bit of a callus, which will uh, hold it in position later. When you put the Mizrab on, you wanna to check to make sure it doesn't protrude beyond your fingertip more than a few millimeters. Um, this is a good distance you can see in this shot um, for protrusion of the Mizrab. All right, so basic uh, playing position. We'll start with the position of the gourd on your foot. So you'll start in a comfortable cross-legged position. And then you lift your right knee. And keeping your foot in the same place, you're going to place the gourd in the crook of your foot, sort of between the ball of your foot and your heel. So one more time, right here, on this area of your foot. So I find it helpful to put a cloth on my foot uh, to avoid damaging the finish of the instrument with any uh, sweat. The right knee, as a beginner, you can use to support the neck of the sitar in this sort of area here. As you become more flexible, you can drop your knee and just hold the gourd with your thigh pressure as well as your foot. The right arm is gonna sit comfortably on top of the, the uh, flattest part of the gourd, so roughly parallel to the floor. And your right thumb is going to sit, for most instruments, on this little intersection of the decoration, which you can see here, which is just below the top fret. And you're going to want to press with your thumb using the pad of your thumb, not the tip of your thumb. And finally, your right ankle can be either out in front of you like this, or if you're more flexible, you can put it on top of your knee. And the final point to note is that if you have your foot and your arm, your thumb, and your thigh or knee in a good position, you should be able to hold the weight of the sitar and sit up straight with this apparatus, not using your left hand at all. So when you start playing, you want to make sure that you're not holding the instrument with your left hand. All right, that's it.